A new star is born, a legend rises, and the head of the table survives. This is what had happened at the Royal Rumble. Play the music. What's really good, guys? It's your boy, Spider-Man, aka D-Man. You're a man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co-host Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome to the Wrestling Recap Show. You know, we, we keep it all as what had happened was and everything, but we're going to fix that. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to delineate which one is which. But anyway, Royal Rumble. Royal Royal Rumble. Rumble. Now, before we get hmm. started, y'all know the drill. If you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the little bell icon and join the Kaiju crew. Like any of the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because you do like to hear from you. Because you, you, like you. Like you do. Because you do like to hear from you. Because you do like to hear from you. Because you do like to hear from you. So, yeah, comment down below because you do like to hear from you. Let's get it going. The Royal Rumble. The Royal Probably, Rumble. Probably uh, one of the better Royal Rumbles in the past years, now that I think about it, which is uh, kind of a surprise. The uh, two Rumbles? Yes. What are you talking about? Yeah, okay. I'm We're thinking of the, the matches before. Ain't nobody care about the matches. Oh, uh, okay. okay. I, I, I don't think anybody's like sitting here, sit here and goes like, oh, I, I like the Royal Rumble for the, uh, for the matches? auxiliary matches that are there. It's like, no, I'm caring about the Rumble. People okay. go there for the rumble. We That's we right. buy our hot wings for the rumble. Yeah, it That's was That's all good. we care about. Yeah, the rumble was good. Yeah, the rumble the rumble was good. One of the better ones that we had uh, this past year. As we said, we, we had a new star in the making. I mean, in the making for some people. For us, we were always championing Mrs. EST of WWE, WWE. Bianca Belair. Entering at number three. Number three. And at lasting, number three and lasting the, the entire, entirety of the match. Yes. We had some really good surprises. Like, for instance, the returning uh, Mickey James. We got yes. Victoria, even though they they took out her Nicki Minaj entrance Yeah, thing. they did. I don't it know was why like, they did it that. It was one we, one line we got you're, out there. I'm, I'm not the lady to mess with. And then some generic, like, Euro pop or some, yeah, some, just, some crap that was playing behind her. Yeah. I don't know what that was. But we got some nice little Victoria. But before we, we get deeper into these matches, I want you to tell me what happened. Because I, while while we were talking about wings, uh -huh. I was in the midst of getting those errands run. You saw okay. the other two matches that happened so, prior to the women's role. So tell me what happened. Okay, so opening up the Royal Rumble was Drew McIntyre and Gold. Bird. Gold Bird. What, what, did you say Bird? Probably. I, why was this a match? Well, I don't know. Uh, it, it was very, very, very underwhelming. Um, in the call, we weren't even really paying attention to it. <laughs> it was that bad. It was that that it, bad. It, 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 that it failed to grasp you that that bad. Yeah, we actually predicted that it would last like five minutes. And it, that's that's uh, maybe about six or seven. So we were close. Okay, so so it was it wasn't like you know the quickest of squad. I mean, because no. like Goldberg is like fifty four years old. Or something I, like I that. got that. So, it just, like, it just was no hype to it. And then he just randomly was thrown in to go against Drew, I which mean, also didn't make sense because uh, like two weeks, I have no clue. It was just, it was just weird. Cause like two weeks before Royal Rumble, Goldberg comes out of nowhere and it's like, yeah, no, I'm coming for you at the Royal Rumble. I'm just like, Huh? It, it was more than two weeks, but it wasn't. Well, it wasn't that much longer. No, it I'm was not, not. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it, it was, was like pretty quick. a big build. Yeah, for it, but like it was. It was still a pretty quick build, and it was pretty random because he just basically started with like, you know what? I want the title shot. Yeah. And, and Drew was like, "Hey, don't do this." And Goldberg like headbutted him, and it was like, "Okay, we're doing this now." Yeah. I guess. And, and that, that, was that, that was it. That was it. So, so that that's, was that's it. all we got for it. So I'm okay. glad I missed that one. And oh. what other match we had? Oh my god! In this other match, and I'm really disappointed because I was so excited for this match. Okay. Sasha Banks and Carmella. Okay. First of all, Carmella has the weirdest, the weirdest opening. Oh yeah, where she stands in front of the sheet and then yeah. it drops. And it's you just don't see her weird. Story. It makes her body look weird. It makes her shape. <laughs> it's just weird. It's just weird. I'm like, what in the hell? And then she's dancing or gyrating a. I don't understand it. Anyways, 
we'll move on from her interest because that's just weird. I mean, way. you're the one who stuck with the interest. I, I missed this. So. Uh, no, because we talked about that in the car. Like, <laughs> it, I just completely don't understand it. Neither did anybody else. Okay. Anyways, again, another very underwhelming match, which was very disappointing because Sasha Banks is a wrestler. She can wrestle her ass off. This Carmella is true. Carmella can kind of hold her own. That's not what we got with this match. It all just kind of faltered and then Carmella almost killed herself by like fake scorpion, I guess, because she like did a death dive. Oh, and that, literally, that suicide dive and just yeah, kind of like landed li- on her face. But with her face, yeah, landed on her face and literally just skid two feet with her face. So it was like, holy shit, like what? What the hell? Is she okay? And then next thing we know, they're back in the ring. So we're just kind of like, so no, that was the only exciting that. thing about that match was that Carmella almost killed herself. Now that's a shame because I'm uh, we, we've seen Carmella in action since she, yes. she made a return. She's been putting on some pretty good, yeah, uh, pretty, yeah, I'd say pretty good uh, from decent to good matches. Yes, uh, in the ring. So I, I am really surprised because usually Sasha Banks can pull a lot of great talent out of people. So well, this know. match did not. We did not get it you again. Get we just like that was the only thing that made us go oh. Throughout the whole match. And the match was wow. like, what, 15 minutes, I think? Damn. So, yeah. It was just 15 minutes of nothing. Mm. Um, And then we went to the Women's Royal Rumble. Now, the Women's Royal Rumble. That's, that's where that's, you that's, came that's, in. That's, that's when I came yeah. back. I came back to catch it. Yeah. And as we said, we had some returns. We had Mickey James came back in the Wait, weird pause. Shinsuke Nakamura look at that. Yeah. I'm going to get to you in a second. I'm talking about I know. Mickey Go James. ahead. Go ahead. Mickey James. I know. She came out in some cool attire. No. You go. Okay, I forgot Bad Bunny also. Oh! Can you tell the story of Bad Bunny? Because here's what we got. We got Bad Bunny, and then we had Booker T just standing there like this. Like, I dream a genie, but just big, scruffy, I dream a genie the whole entire song while Bad Bunny just literally gyrated or pranced around him. And I'm just like... What in the absolute hell is this? I got no story to tell. I actually just like I I, I don't want to look it up. You I'm cool without not having it. You know what? If I'm you didn't cool see the Royal Rumble, I suggest you watch that of the Royal Rumble because that was just again. You're gonna make weird. me watch it, aren't you? Yes. That I just. <coughs> <coughs> Right Go there? ahead. Yes. <laughs> okay. So now can we get back to the yeah, women's world? Yeah, let's okay, get to the so, exciting so, part so we had some, we had some really exciting people uh, show up. Shotty Blackheart showed up. Dakota mm-hmm. Kai was there. Uh, Tony I was expecting. Oh yeah, uh, Tony Storm showed up. We had we had some nice you know nice action. But what really got me was a, was a little mini story that they told because Charlotte eliminated Bianca Belair and I believe Shayna Baszler last year. She did uh, as uh, as the final three. Yeah. Uh, during uh, last year's Rumble and the final three this time around was Bianca Belair, Charlotte, and uh, Rhea Ripley. Yeah. And they worked in tandem to get Charlotte, Charlotte the out. frick up on out of here. Yeah, they did. And that I, was good. I, that excited the heck out of me. Yeah, I was glad about that. It excited everybody. It excited everybody. Because like we were at a toss-up. It was like, okay, I really want Bianca to win. Yeah. But like, oh man, if it's going to be Bianca, be Bianca and, and Charlotte, yeah. it's going to be disappointing. It's like, no, yeah. Bianca and Rhea Ripley, that made it work. Yeah. I like yeah, that. Now we got Rhea. I was fine with that. Yeah. Uh, but, um, we ended up getting Bianca Belair with the we win. Got the ESP. We had like a mini, one of those few times during the Rumble, uh, during the Royal Rumble, where you have a mini match within the match because it wasn't just you know throwing people towards the rope and, oh, and, yeah, and no. going towards the uh, going for the elimination. Like they were actually wrestling to beat each other yeah. first, and it made it feel a little bit more fresh because it felt like you were getting like this is the Royal Rumble and then the little mini section at yeah. the end. I, I even like the little teamwork. Between Naomi and Bianca. Oh, that was that nice was little, good. That was that a nice was little, nice little section. It was because they both almost got eliminated because they both were thrown over the <laughs> oh yeah over the rope and with their agility and their athleticism, that's what made it so cool. Because it was like okay, that was pretty cool. Because at one point they were beating the hell out of each other just to be like stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> We are both gonna get eliminated here, so let's let's do this together, and then we can get back into it. Yeah, Naomi so made, made the mistake of using Bianca Belair. Yeah, as she hair did. To get back in, she but like, did. that was that was it a good, was good spot. storytelling. It was a good, it was a good, it was good storytelling. I, like I would actually love to see them wrestle soon, and I know it's coming, but it was good storytelling right yeah. there. So, so I, I like that. We, we had that. I do. I did enjoy that as well. So yeah, I, I did appreciate that. Uh, the other thing I do want to talk about is the fact that like they really did the smart thing. 
Because Sing it. Alexa Bliss pops into the ring in her happy go lucky, I'm Harley Quinn meets Sailor Moon yeah. kind of little thing yeah. that she's got going. Everybody beats her up, and then she's like, Oh, I'm going to uh draw in the power of the fiend, and everybody's sitting here watching, going like, Oh no, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, everybody happen? got away. It was crazy, but especially that over her her old reaction. She was like, Nope, I want no part. Want nope. no part of that. Then the lights go off, <laughs> the lights screen go out. click, and then Rhea Ripley's like, like, Nope, nope, we're not having <laughs> it. Just yeeted Alexa Bliss out the ring. That was that was one of my favorite parts. It, of it was. I kind of wish uh, Alexa came back though. Although like everything went out when it yeah. was just the three of them. Yeah. And you know she kind of stood behind Rhea Ripley like, "What's good?" <laughs> I, I, I mean, kind of wanted that to, to see happen, something like that happen. But but yeah. So Rhea Ripley doesn't have a home right now. Rhea Ripley is not either Raw or SmackDown, and or we've been NXT, talking about yeah. how she's going to be pulled up for NXT. So if she does show herself. On Raw, that might be a nice little situation. But as usual, she showed her Alexa natural Bliss. born ass on Royal Rumble, so yeah, I, I'm not Didn't concerned put about it. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not either. I'm, I'm just not. thinking. I'm just thinking ahead uh, yeah. for that one. Uh, and then the other thing we wanted to talk about, we had ourselves the uh, match between Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns, the head of the table in the last man standing match. Now, Jesus. for 95 percent of this match and the build up. This was perfect. Oh, God. This was a fun This match. was perfect. We saw them go off. For once, this last man standing match felt like a last man, man standing, standing match. match. Instead of just like, okay, we're going to just keep everything around the rings. Like, yeah. no, we don't have fans, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Let's go up into the stands. Let's go deeper into Tropicana Field. Let's jump off of forklifts uh, with a swan yeah, tongue they used everything around them. Everything around them. They even them. had a separate ring for them, which yeah. they, was Funny awkward. enough, they never actually got into the ring. No, they didn't. It, it was just there. It was, it was just like, another ring there. Yeah, like, we thought it was like hell? Schrodinger's ring or something. It was like, my, okay, my something's going to happen. Part, though, my best part was when Roman came out of nowhere and hit the hell out of Kevin Owens. With like a, some Final Destination shit. Cart. Like, what the yes. hell? Yes, just, just obliterating like, him the with hell? the golf cart. The, like, everything about, as I said, everything about this match up until the ending was was very good. The only problem that we ended up having was the fact that Paul Heyman apparently doesn't know how to unlock a set of cuffs. That and actually I, was funny. That and was, that really like, wasn't that, even that, a, that, a bother. I mean, it wasn't a bother, funny. but, like, it, 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 it definitely did put a pall on how smooth everything was. Because yeah. everything about this was completely clean and smooth, uh, including the way that Roman Reigns got himself, I don't know why I'm getting contacted right now, sorry about that, uh, getting uh, getting himself handcuffed under the, the stanchion and, and having the ref count him all the way down to nine before he reaches over, yanks yeah. him, slams well, him yeah, face first into a thing. That was good. And here's the thing, our call actually had a good point. It's like, if, you're, if you are in the WWE as a referee and there's a no disqualification match right. like this, why would you take this job if you know that, like, okay, I could stop the count by murdering, murdering the ref? You. So, like, it, like after I'm seeing this, I'm like, uh, what's what's to protect me? Right. Because, like, unless Roman ain't going to get fined. Because the whole point of it... The, it's the no whole, DQ, so it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it, it kind of does matter because, like, you're not supposed to put your hands on the official. Well, but he's also okay. the head of the table. Right, so, so he can do that. So they're not going to find right. him for that because, you no know, storyline, it would make sense. Right. It wouldn't make sense. So, like... If I'm in, the, if I'm a ref and Roman Reigns is in a no DQ match, yeah. I am not taking the job. No, because that means I'm like, like no, if I'm he's good. losing, I'm catching a spear. Yeah, no, I'm good. But as we said, the final of ninety five percent of this match was very good. Go watch it. Uh, the only kind of botch was uh, Paul Heyman being unable to un uh, undo the cuffs. I don't even know if that but, really like, was a botch. I, it, it still it, was funny. It, for you, it was funny. For me, I was like, okay, what's going on? Like, why are why, you... Because a ref joined in and oh, just yeah. stopped counting, counting at six yeah. for no reason. Yeah, it's that, like, okay, that, when, that when, it looked, when it looked like he was not going to get up, uh, get to his feet because mm -hmm. he was still cuffed, it was like, okay, why aren't you still counting? Kayfabe, why aren't you still counting? Yeah, because I, I did kind of want him to continue to count and for uh, Roman to yell at Paul, but to also kill the other ref. Yeah, I can't so he could be like, shut up! Other. I mean, like, I would have I would have actually rather him murder the other ref. Yeah. Or the other ref just not show up right. until after he was like, you know. Or just have another ref in the distance just yelling at Cal. What? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. I'm not coming over there. Something like that. <laughs> but uh, Roman gets himself uncuffed yeah. and chokes out 
Kevin Owens and that's it. It's over. So I'm thinking that that few might be completely done. We we don't we don't know. We but like don't I, know. I don't see anything else coming from this. I, don't I think either. we need to start moving on the program to where you need to go. Yeah. Whether it's going to be Daniel Bryan, whether it's going to be Shinsuke Nakamura, because Shinsuke yeah. won the gauntlet match. So what's going to happen with that? That's that's my big thing. He I feel like won he the needs to be match. the next one in line. I'm thinking. In Roman's wrath. I, I'm thinking. Because Roman is on a warpath right oh, now. Oh, yeah. He's on a warpath. Woo! And he, he, I'm loving Heel Roman. Heel Roman has been the yeah. best. He's be, been one of the best parts of television Although for I, me. Although I hated Jimmy didn't pop up. I'm glad he didn't. I'm I, glad I, he didn't. I kind of wanted him just to pop up for I, something. I, I needed, I needed Roman. If Roman was going to win this feud, which, he, which we thought he That's was, true. he needed to have this one be relatively clean. Paul okay. Hammond's involvement wasn't technically unclean. No, it was wasn't. just saving him from yeah, that's his own it. hubris. Yeah, he was just doing that was his job. It. That's that was it. it. Yeah. So I, I don't I don't have a, I don't have an issue with, with Paul's involvement, but I'm glad that it was it was just yeah. Roman. And again, and I'm glad they used the entire stadium for last stand man of last man standing. Last stand Because the last man standing last year was I don't even know what that was. Uh yeah, yeah. So we go on and we finish up with uh, the men's Royal Rumble, which also was very good. We started off with uh, Randy Orton and Edge. There was a there was a nice a fair amount of spots because they kept the continuity. Yeah, there, they did. Edge hates Orton. Yeah, because of what he did with him last year. Yeah, and I'm very glad that Edge had the show and that he did because he uh, he came out out of nowhere last year's Rumble and then we got hit with the panorama and. All you know, all of his momentum is just gone. He's not going to show up because you know it's very contagious. He's you know very vulnerable to yeah. it. A lot of a lot of wrestlers Are, and personnel yeah. would be vulnerable to uh, due to their many uh, as some some of their many ailments and maladies. So like I'm, I understand why he wasn't showing up for most of 2020, 2021. They finally gave him a shot because he ends up getting the win right here. We had some nice little storyline beats, like for instance, Mustafa Ali. Taking Kofi Kingston's spot, yeah. Nearly when Kofi took Mustafa's yeah. spot for the Elimination Chamber during that gauntlet match, uh, you had uh, a bunch of you know New Day interactions right there. We had an Edge and Christian reunion, yeah, we uh, did. a reunion of the Bar. It, uh, it was good. It Team was good. Hell No showed, and yeah. I was mad because the mayor of Knox County, Mister, I don't want to mm. wear a mask except when I'm wearing a mask when when I gotta be a pyrotechnic maniac, Kane. Eliminated Daniel Bryan. That was, that was one of the ones that I was yeah. hoping would go all the way to the end. But he quickly got eliminated. Yeah, he that, he, so. he quickly got eliminated. We can move on from Rick, that. Ricochet had a good showing. He had a lot of people had a really good showing. Yeah. This, this, this was a really good. A oh, really good role. Role. It oh, was. Carlito oh, yeah, made Carlito. his return looking it big. As a mug. And lasted. He lasted a pretty fair amount. Yes, he did. He lasted, he lasted a bit. Yeah. He did last a bit. He held it down for a minute. The way that they constructed those these two rumbles is this wasn't just a fuster cluck for the sake of chaos. Uh, these two rumbles for the men and the women really set up uh, various storylines. Uh, it's also set up who was going to be like a contender. If they weren't going to win, they would be contenders. Like for instance, Bobby Lashley had a great showing, and he had one in a way that Brock Lesnar could never have because yeah. Brock would be way too overpowered. But yeah. Bobby Lashley just looked like he was big, but still vulnerable enough to be within the universe that they set for the men mm -hmm. in uh, um, in their um, you know title hunt. So it felt like Bobby Lashley fit in perfectly as a monster and a bruiser. Same yeah. thing from Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman comes back. It's number 30. He puts on a show like just takes out people and then Lee, you know, gets he gets himself eliminated. So like he did his job. Yeah, he did he his did. job. He so it's like look out for Braun, look out for Bobby Lashley, look out for, you know, uh hopefully some more stuff from Ricochet, maybe tag team, who knows. Uh Mustafa Ali, hopefully we'll get some more stuff uh cuz Retribution is very whack right now. Yeah, they need I'm, to revamp I'm disappointed that. In I, it. I'm very disappointed. Um, I'm fine with Mustafa Ali being the leader. It's just how they're having him come. Yeah, out. yeah. Like, it's it's making I've been meaning to no talk longer. About this. I don't mean to talk. And, about and that's this. another video. I know. yeah, that, that's that's another. But video. yeah, I uh, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, Edge gets the win because. There was a moment at the beginning where Edge just obliterating Randy Orton with a chair, yeah. uh, injuring him, uh, kayfabe. 
and sending him to the back. And we were sitting here wondering, like, okay, is he eliminated? Are they yeah. saying that he's out? Yeah. Or is this just, you know, a shoot, work? Who, who knows? He comes back after Edge gets one of the final eliminations. And we hated it mm-hmm. because Orton comes out. We're like, oh, my God, he, he's going to RKO and win. And, and Orton doesn't need this. I mean, when you think about the Edge doesn't need it but like i'm glad he has it at least at least you know it feels like a good story but like edge comes in blast uh randy orton comes in blast edge but edge you know reverses throws him out of the ring and i'm so happy about it because we got so excited we're like if it couldn't be our favorites if it couldn't be who we wanted to have win this we're at least glad it's edge yeah we're at least glad it's edge yeah but basically, that's that's those are the main that's highlights it. of what happened yeah. at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Uh, wh- how would you? What coming out of this? How, wh- how would you? I because of the Royal Rumble, I would give it a four. You you're going to grade it like like it's our movie reviews. How am I supposed to grade it? You can do that. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not sitting here caring. I, I'm, just, I'm busting how we your grade chops. It. Yeah, we okay. haven't done this in a while. It's, we it's, have it's not. Been some time. So how would you grade it? I, oh oh, that's how we grade. I I give it a B B minus. B, B minus. Yeah. yeah. B, B, B minus. Yeah, B. Yeah. B, B, minus. B plus. B yeah. plus. Because I feel, I feel better coming out of this. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's one of those things where I'm optimistic, but it's cautiously so, mainly just because of yeah, how WWE fair. has been running their booking lately. Because like, if they yeah. if they do not pull like some kind of trigger on Bobby Lashley sometime soon, it'll feel like, you know, whatever showing that he had in the Royal Rumble is wasted. Yeah. If they don't pull some kind of trigger on Rhea Ripley and Alexa Bliss, you know, something happening with them, it feels kind of wasted. So, yeah. like, there, there's a wealth of chances for wasted opportunity, and I'm hoping that they don't fall into that pit. But, I, you know, I'll give it a good B+. B plus. We could just go and, and give it that right there. Yeah. But anyway, tell us what you thought about the Royal Rumble. Who was your biggest standout performer who was your mvp of the night let us know in the comments down below because we do like to hear from you archive do faithful also head on over to patreon.com become a patron and you can get updates on the site the store and the channel you can also get some exclusive content whenever we drop we're going to bring it right to you guys first and where else can they go to help support us also head on over to hillkaiju.com slash shop where you can get some fabulous merch some fabulous merch for instance i'm wearing that pred prey shirt yeah yeah in time for Valentine's Day still. Yeah, get, get it for you. Get it for your hubby. Get it for your hubby. Get it for your wifey. And your wife, let Anyway, thank you guys for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful day out there. And we'll catch you on the next recap. Because I was going to say next trailer drop for a second. But like that's not, not the show. Recap. It's a different show. So but anyway, thank you guys for joining us. Hope we we'll catch y'all later. Deuces. Bye.